Uh, we got all of our settings adjusted. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do our build button. Uh, basically, it tells you the um, directory. This is the first time you're doing it, your output directory doesn't exist yet. Would you like to create it? Yes. Uh, of course, reminds you that you need to agree to your terms and conditions of your Microsoft uh, Office or Office uh, Microsoft Windows. It goes on through. It's going to process all the files. Um, it's going to go ahead, save, close, hives, yada, yada, yada. And I'm going to do a little edit here so you don't have to watch all this. Okay, so as it's going through, um, you'll get some status updates. You know, that's a certain percentage done, estimated time for it to finish. And uh, eventually it'll go through, say, it's ISO successfully completed created and if you have any errors or warnings it'll tell you down here that there were how many of them that you can use these little arrow keys here uh, to go back and forth basically with mine the one warning is that um, having a path longer than a certain number of characters can uh, cause buffer overflows but I'm okay with that um, so we're going to go ahead and hit close and I'm not sure if I explained this before, but just to make sure, the reason I'm doing an ISO image is that, one, I can go through and easily create this again if I wanted to. Um, and two, if you're going through and you got a kind of a slower system, something like that, um, burning to the CDD or DVD with this um, particular program doesn't always seem to work too good. Um, some people it works fine with, but I've had mixed results with that. So I like to use my own burning software anyway. Um, but that's how to create um, the ISO image. In order to burn a ISO image uh, into a usable CD, you'll need some special software for that. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be using Nero uh, to burn a ISO image into a CD. And... Um, I'll go ahead and show you that here uh, for the most part. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of this. My ISO burner is actually located on my other system, so I'm going to copy that over real quick. Okay, I've gone ahead and uh, copied my um, ISO image over here to my other computer, other system outside the virtual machine. And I'm going to go ahead and make the uh, CD with our, I got the CD load up in my drive. So all I have to do is go open up my Nero burning ROM and go to file, open, and then I just scroll on down to my ISO image, open it up, and what you want to check is make sure that the size of it is going to fit on the CD. That little red line there is the uh, limit point of how much stuff you can fit on the CD. You can go ahead and use like a DVD. Uh, if you wanted to, but uh, for my purposes, I need this to work on basically the lowest common denominator, a CD drive. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the default options here. Uh, you know, finalize the disk. There's no need to do additional burning to it, and go and let that go through and burn. As you can see, it's going to go through and start that off. Um, it does warn you that it may contain more information than normal disk capacity and uh, this disk should support that so I want to go ahead and try it um, it may be able to do it may not be able to so um, but you if you get messages like that that you got too much stuff on here or it's too big for your CD you have to go through into your plugins and uh, you know trim that up uh, keep in mind you're basically trying to fit an entire operating system on a CD <laughs> uh, an operating system that actually nowadays takes up about six gigs almost um, so the fact that it's fitting on a CD along with other tools and whatnot is actually kind of impressive um, so keep that in mind if you get any messages about that uh, you might have to trim your disk down some, remove some extra things. I actually had to go through and edit this video 
um, you know, after you saw me do that stuff, I tried to stop, go back, and remove uh, some of those extra burning things that you saw. I was talking about before that I was going to leave in. Well, I tried to go back and take those out to reduce the file size enough just so it would fit um, this far as it did. So um, this should go through and burn fine for me, but uh, if not, I'm going to have to go back and trim it up some more. So. Uh, if you found this useful, feel free to subscribe to me. Uh, the button's over on the right side. Uh, I will be doing some additional videos later on how to actually use the Ultimate Boot CD and going through and doing actual virus removals with it, uh, things of that sort to expect some virus removal videos in the future. So, uh, until next time, I'll see you later.